Hello everybody, this is Jeff Janess and welcome to our fifth lab exercise in hydrologic functions in ArcGIS Pro. In this lab exercise, we're going to successfully create a watershed that drains into the Picture Canyon Preserve. It's going to be successful because we're going to use a flow direction raster that we generated from the fill DEM. And this will let you see the difference between doing it right and doing it wrong. We're also going to see how to export a raster to a polygon feature class because Especially with things like watersheds, we often want to do other things with that watershed region. We want to compare it with other data set, calculate distances to it, see what it intersects. And just as a practical example, uh, we've had a lot of fires in the forest surrounding Flagstaff lately, and recently burned forests often flood badly when it rains because water just doesn't infiltrate into the ground very well. That burned soil kind of repels it. And so residents in Flagstaff are very interested in whether their homes or businesses are in those watersheds that are burned. It's a lot easier to determine that if the watershed is in a polygon format. So in this lab exercise, we're going to see how to convert that raster to a polygon. And finally, we're going to see how to take our data and put it into a layout and export it as a map, where it can then be added to a Word document, like in a homework document. So let's get started. This will also look pretty familiar to you from lab exercise two. So uh, no surprises here. All right, first off, we just want to open up the watershed tool. So it's in the analysis and the tools. Just go to watershed. We want this one here. Here's our flow direction raster. Notice it has to be a D8 format. The raster or feature pour point data will be the raster version of Picture Canyon that we created back in lab exercise two. The pore point field doesn't matter too much here. We're going to name our output watershed raster. This here, PC watershed for Picture Canyon raster. Okay, now if another thing you remember from lab exercise two, we couldn't just generate a watershed right off. We had to set the processing extent. Uh, otherwise, it just generates a tiny little watershed that, that doesn't cover the full area. So the processing extent will be the extent of our flow direction raster. So we just set that value. Okay, everything should be good to go. We hit run. Okay, there we go. Now we have the true watershed that drains into Picture Canyon. Let's turn off some of this background information. We can kind of see it. All right. Now, as I mentioned before, we often want to treat this as a polygon rather than a bunch of raster cells. So next step is to convert this raster to a polygon. It's in the tools. Go to raster to polygon. Okay, there it is. We're going to convert our raster here. We're going to name the polygon feature class Picture Canyon Watershed. And for this example, I'm going to simplify the polygons, and I'm okay if it makes multi-part features. Okay, it should be everything it needs. We hit OK. All right, now we have a polygon representation of that watershed. I'm just going to set it to be partially transparent so we can see the landscape underneath it. All right, so now we can do all sorts of analysis, whatever we'd like to do with this. For example, maybe we want to calculate the area of it. So we open up the attribute table. We're going to add an attribute field for acres. Make it a double precision field. All right, we save our new field. Okay, now we have a new field here ready to go. We just right click on it, do calculate geometry. Acres is the field we're going to work on. We want to calculate geodesic area because that is the most accurate. We're going to have it in US Survey Acres. And the coordinate system doesn't matter because we're doing geodesic areas, right? And there's our acreages. Now, I got them blurred out here because this is one of your homework questions and just don't want to give it away that easy. The correct answer is between 70 and 80,000 acres. But uh, that's all there is to it. Okay, now another thing we want to do in the homework is actually make a little map of this and put it into the homework just to demonstrate that, that you're able to do all that. And so let's, let's go ahead and do that. Um, first thing we do is we're going to insert a new layout into our project. That's the insert tab and then new layout. 
I'm just going to make it letter size. It doesn't really matter too much here. So now we want to add the map that we want to show in this layout. So we come up here to the map frame, click on this. Uh, this is the map that we've got going, and we can load it at one of these two extents. And this one is the one it's at right now, so I'm just going to grab that one. Now I have to draw on this layout where I want the map to be. So the cursor is ready to go. I just need to click and start dragging. So I'm going to go up to the top corner here and just click down and drag. And I'm going to fill up this portion of the layout with my map. I just click let up, and there's my map. All right, so we're partly there. Now we need to add a scale bar. It's easy enough. We just come up, click the scale bar option. Come down here and draw a little box. And last steps, just add your name. You come up here and click the text box here. Click in here. And that's all there is to it. You're certainly welcome to make this more attractive if you'd like. I certainly have no problem with attractive maps, but all I'm really hoping to do here is to get you experience in creating a map. All right, so anyway, you've created your, your map here in the layout, so you have to export it to a JPEG file or something. That is in the Share tab. Just click the Export Layout button. Pick a place where you want to save it in a format. I'm just going to put it in jpeg format and i'm going to call it watershed image hit export and now i have created the image now i'm just going to open it in windows file explorer there's my map that i just made now if i want to put it into a word document like your homework document, for example, you just open up that homework document. So here we have Word open, and I can just take this image from File Explorer and drag it into my Word document, and there it is. Okay, all there is to that. And when you turn in your homework, uh, it should contain something like this. It just has a scale bar in your name. All right. Thanks so much, everybody.